Where in the hell did he come from? Welcome back, everybody, to 70s and I'm an old guy gaming, and this is Alpha 19 Stable. And uh, in this episode, we are going to get ourselves a mini bike. That is the plan. So let's see here. I've got in my inventory uh, most of the parts that we need. We are missing a couple of things. So if we go uh, here, we've got everything we need for the chassis. Uh, for the handlebars, or, or right here for the handlebars, we need a headlight and three more pipes. And then for the mini bike itself, we need an engine. But we have everything else. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out and wrench a few cars until we get all of that stuff. Uh, I, I need a little more gasoline too. And then we're going to hoof it over to a New Hope Ranch Camp Place right over here. And um, that's where we have a working workbench. And we'll build our mini bike. And then we will transition from going everywhere on foot to finally having a motorized vehicle which will be very nice i got another point as i was just doing a little bit of crafting off camera and let's take a look at that so we're going to put that into advanced engineering one and then the next point we'll be able to put into tinkerer which then means we can make our own workbench here in our own base along with a, a forge and uh, that we no longer are reliant upon the trader for the forge and new hope camp for the workbench so do i have everything i need now to make actually make a forge let's take a look we need 60 clay 50 stone 10 leather three duct yeah we don't have enough pipes i mean we could uh we could go ahead and whoops here let's look at something i mean we're going to get a bunch of pipes from doing the cars um so we could craft this what else did we need duct tapes uh what am i missing we got oh we need more leather that's what it is yeah, let's do that, because we'll, we'll very easily come by six pipes by just wrenching the cars, and if even if we don't, we can just make six pipes in the forge. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and... Why does that keep doing that? Uh, make that, and then when that forge is done, I have to decide where our crafting room is going to be. We could have it in here, or we could have the crafting room just in here. This is a little bit closer to our storage, so yeah, maybe what we'll, we'll do is we'll have the crafting in here. In fact, you know what? I can take this bed apart and get a couple of pipes and some springs and all that, too. So, yeah, I'm going to clear this room, and this will end up being our crafting room in here. And then uh, when I'm done with that, and I have the forge down... Um, oh, we, know, we needed some electrical parts, too, and we just got them. Awesome. Okay. Um, I'll put the forge down and then uh, we're going to go out, wrench some cars, and then when the trader opens, we'll go visit him so we can drop off uh, the supplies here, and then we'll head on up to the New Hope Ranch. So I will meet you guys, uh, I'll probably just meet you at the trader when he opens to turn this in, and then we'll go from there. And then in the meanwhile, I'm just going to wrench a few cars while we're waiting for him to open. Okay, so I'll see you in just a bit. Where in the hell did he come from? Holy crap, look at my health. And I'm infected and I've got a broken fucking arm. <laughs> Jeez Louise, man. Oh, that's bullshit. Oh, all right. Um, We need a splint for that. We've got honey back at the base. Deep laceration. What do we need for that? First aid or a sewing kit. Shit. Um... Man, we are in bad shape. We are in really bad shape. Okay, well, it is what it is. Let's keep going. 
Now my arm's like all screwed up and I can't wrench the car very well. I need an engine. Yeah, we didn't get one. Damn it. At least I don't think we did, did we? Oh, we got a purple battery. Actually, you know what? I'm going to sell that because the battery uh, quality doesn't matter for the vehicles. So, yeah, we'll end up selling that. Let's get everything reloaded here, too. That spider, like, he must have been left over from overnight or something. I don't know. We don't re usually see those guys wandering out during the daytime. Not this early in the game, anyway. Let's go do our turn in. And maybe the trader actually has a bandage we can buy. That would be useful. We need to get... Yeah, we don't really have anything in here except for these, so... Uh, we'll take both of those things, though. Well, I guess you ain't so bad. Here's a little All right. for your Timson trouble. Grinder hyperthermal resistance, so that'll help in the desert. We don't really need a weapon flashlight mod right now. Tech Junkie craft robotic turret shells. Yeah, let's go with Fireman's Almanac. Okay, we do want to take another job from you and... Since we're going to get the mini bike, we'll go ahead and take the buried supplies, well. but we'll wait till we get the mini bike before we actually do it. Okay, let's take a look at your inventory. I'm going to sell you this straight up. Make a nice little chunk of change there. Uh, this is These were extra items that I brought over to sell to him. So we got our we got our headlight. Um, so we're just... An engine is, is all we're missing, really, uh, to make the mini bike, and we should have everything else. Uh, that's all you're gonna buy. I'll let you show yourself out. Okay, let's uh, see. Do you have any medical? You do. Oh shit, just honey though. What about in here? Oh, all right. So let's see. Wire tool. Let's take a quick look at his inventory here. First aid kit schematic. That's a fairly rare item. Might be worth our while to buy it. We won't be able to do anything with it until we get a chem bench, but... I mean, we got 7,000 coin. Okay, let's keep that one in mind. Let's see what else he's got here. Still not seeing any shotguns or pistols yet. What about... Let's look in here again. A marksman rifle. Hmm. A cheap one, too, at that. That, you know, we might actually just go ahead and buy that. I mean, it's not very expensive. <clears throat> and we've got a lot of 7.62s, and it would give us at least a long-range weapon to start with. I think I'm going to do that. Let's buy that. Um, wait, it had Night Stalker. What's this do? Never care. Nah, we don't care about that. It's not going to matter in the mid in the mid game. Because we should have all of our pockets and all that. In fact, I made—I forgot to tell you guys—I made two pockets uh, off camera too. So we got a couple more slots right here. Well, all right. I think. Um, what was that other thing we were thinking about getting? The first aid. I think I'm going to buy this. Uh, that's because all you're going to buy. I'll it could be a long time before out. we we come across that. Um, all right. Cool. So we've got our first real gun. Um, the 7.62, so we're going to put that there, and we've got, you know, the 7.62s back at the base uh, to load it with. So, all right, let's go back to the base, drop a few things off, um, take some honey to deal with our infection anyway. I don't know, I don't know if we're going to be able to handle or, or do anything about the rest of our ailments, but at least we can get the infection out of the way. And we'll get some 7.62s for this rifle. It has six rounds in the magazine, so we can fire off six shots. Pop, 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 pop. Pop? Maybe? <laughs> I wasn't counting. Um, so, actually, yeah, this will be a nice little weapon for us to start with, for sure. Okay, let's go into our medical, which, actually, this is supposed to be the medical. Give me that. Give me that. That's supposed to be the medical. Get the honey there. So that fixes our infection. Um, what else do we got? Fatigue, we can't do anything until we get vitamins, but that's five minutes out anyway. This max health is lowered, critical hit resistance against bleeding. Okay. And the broke oh, the broken arm. Do we have a split? Yes, we do. Okay. That takes care of our broken arm. Or uh, at least it reduces the amount of time that we gotta deal with the broken arm. I should say. 
And that's really all we can do right now unless we come across an, a real bona fide bandage. Um, or, I mean, uh, no, we need a first aid kit or a sewing kit. That's what we need to fix that. Yeah, that spider really messed us up, didn't he? Son of a bitch. Okay, let's put this in here. Uh, we'll put the oil in here. Put the bullet casings in here for now. Let's grab ourselves a stack of seven six twos for our shiny new rifle here. And it uh, doesn't look like I have any other mods for this right now, so we're just going to have to use an open sight. But hey, it's a gun, right? <laughs> it's a start. It's a start. Uh, we're going to put our money back in here for now. I don't think we need it. And I'm going to put the extra uh, anvil in here. We have two extra anvils in addition to uh, this one here already. Let's load that stuff back up. I went ahead and smelted all the brass that I had uh, so we can make more bullet casings while we're out and about. And uh, we have an, a radiator here we can smelt too. In fact, let's do that. Let's throw that in there right now. Don't need the plastic. So yeah, we're just going to have to hit some cars along the way because uh, we've got to get an engine. That's the thing that we're missing. Okay, guys, let's set on out and... We're going to start working our way towards uh, New Hope camp, but we got to get a, uh, an engine before we before we get all the way there. Um, or, or we could get all the way there and at least get the chassis and the handlebar started while we continue to look for an engine. That might not be a bad idea because then it'll free up a couple of slots. Yeah, that's Spider-Man. What the hell? <laughs> it just came up right behind me and started kicking my ass. We need to be checking trash because um, uh, we could find something for our laceration. Look at that. All right, cool. Okay, so does that take the laceration away or does it just reduce it? Okay, it took it all, all the way away. Good. And our fatigue is almost done, so... So all we have to deal with is a splinted arm for about 33 more minutes. We can handle that. We can handle it. Okay, come on, motor. There we go. Nice, we got our motor. We might as well finish this car off. I just realized it's day seven. How in the hell did that happen so fast? <laughs> Crap. Okay, we're gonna have to figure out a Horde Knight solution. I actually don't have a Horde Knight solution figured out yet. I, ha I have an idea for one, but... Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to figure something out. But, you know, it'll just be Horde Knight 7, so it won't be that bad. What is our game stage? We're 16, yeah. Alright, let's go... Yeah, let's just go cross-country. This is the infamous site of our death. Stupid businessman zombie killed us. Okay, here we are. So, let's make the chassis and the handlebars. And when those are done, then we can make the actual mini bike itself. So, I'm just going to hang out here, guys, until that's done. And then uh, we'll bring you back and we'll go probably go do that buried treasure quest. All right, there she is. Got ourselves a mini bike. 
Very nice. Okay, <clears throat> let's throw a few things in here. Look at us and our bad selves. All right, cool. Big milestone, guys, big milestone. We just increased our survivability significantly. Let's check these this trash for some oil. <laughs> I was thinking more along the lines of sewing kits, but oil's good. All right, we're going to go do this buried quest now. Now that we have the mini bike, we can get away from the zombos quickly. And uh, hopefully we'll find some some food and maybe some medical supplies uh, in the process of uh, getting that thing. We found the treasure, uh, so let's grab it and then get on the bike and get the hell out of Dodge. I can't get hit because um, my health is really bad. So just past uh, noon, right before I found the treasure, and uh, so we have to figure out what we're going to do for Horde Night. We've got a pretty decent amount of ammunition. Um, and we, you know, we've got that 7.62. I don't know, I'm thinking of, about maybe doing a, um, some kind of a bar, you know, wood, wood bar or even iron bar, uh, ramp pathway type of setup thingamadoodle. <laughs> um... So let's get back and get turned into Trader Wrecked, or I meant sorry, Trader um, Q first, and then we'll, we'll assess where we're at from there. Automatic weapons do 10% bounty. more damage. 20 more Molotovs. Oh man, or two pain killers. All of that's good stuff. I think we're going to take this though because this is the rarest of all of those. Um, And I already have 20 Molotovs anyways. Not that I wouldn't mind having 20 more, but yeah, let's take this. Once we finally get an AK, that's going to be useful. All right, your next job. You have... Everything is really far away, but thankfully we have a mini bike now. So I guess this is the closest one. You agree to so we'll take that one. Great. If you're lucky and pull this off, I'll take care of you. All right. Um, don't think I have anything I want to sell to him right now. That's enough chit chat for me today. He restocks on day 10, too, so. Let's buy up food. The health bar would <clears throat> help with that, but. Ah, oh shit. You know what? I have a, had a sugar butts back at the base, too. Could have used it, but I didn't. So. We couldn't buy one jailbreakers. Since I don't have any lock... Well, I guess I do have three lock picks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, all right, I'll tell you what. Let's buy a health bar. But since this is getting close to wearing off, I might just save it. We'll buy the sugar butts, and maybe we'll buy the jailbreakers, too. Because remember, I've got a lot more money back at the base. That's not all of our money. Okay, so, yeah, we got to figure out a horde solution. Yes, indeed we do. All right, guys, we're back. And uh, what we're going to do is I'm just a little ways off from the house. The house is right over there on the other side of those trees. And we're going to set up um, a little platform just kind of on this little side street or maybe maybe even more towards this intersection. I don't want them um, to spawn in too close to the house because there's always the possibility that they could get hung up on it and then do some damage. So maybe we'll come over a little further this way. Uh, so what I want to do is let's put a block down there. Excuse me. And we're going to just create something very simple. But it's going to be a tunnel, you know, type of situation that they have to run through. 
So let me get, um, actually, I want to keep that available at all times. So let's just get up on some wood blocks here. And we'll probably make this, um, we'll probably make it four high, but then the, the floor of the tunnel will run that way. And then um, the entry for them can be, I guess it could be on this side. It doesn't really matter. Um, just try to think. Now, I'm making this up as I go. <laughs> I'm making this up as I go, you guys. Uh, so, okay, let's um, let's do another section going down that way. And then I think we'll work on the ramp here. Uh, yeah, so let's put blocks. I'm going to make this ramp completely solid here. Okay. And th this is probably not going to be something we will do uh, for subsequent Horde Nights. Maybe 14. We'll see how, how it goes. Uh, but beyond that, I'm sure we're going to need something a little more substantial. Okay. So that gives them the ramp that they can get up right there. And, you know, we have... Whoops. Ah, oh, gosh dang it. I didn't want to do that. We have enough blocks to where we might as well just make this whole thing completely solid here. This gives us that much more protection. Because if we only have single pillars, they, there's always the chance that they could come along and, you know, break those. Okay. Um, now, let's see. Next thing we want to do is we want to make a couple of trap doors. I'm not going to do the... Uh, oh, wait. I guess they're called hatches, aren't they? I'm not going to do the exact same thing we did in the experimental series. Um, other than that, I'm, gonna, I'm still going to do the, um, the two trap doors sticking out out of here because it always gives me then the option if I think I'm going to get overrun of pulling those doors up uh, and then the zombies will fall through them. So I still kind of like that design. Uh, let's temporarily put some wood blocks here and then this is going to be um, that's going to be our, our platform. So actually here, yeah, let me pull these back up here. So we'll put those up like so. Okay. And let's see. We got Hawaii Five O over there. I don't want this platform to be too terribly, terribly, too terribly, too terribly large. Um, but I want it to be large enough for us to put a small cage on. We won't need to worry about that on Horde Night Seven, and probably won't need to worry about it on Horde Night Fourteen. Uh, but after that. Uh, we could potentially uh, start getting vultures on Horde Knight, and so we're going to want a cage to protect us from those bastards. Okay, yeah, let's um, let's fill that out. What I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to how many? We got 18 more flagstones. Yeah, let's let's do another row here, but I'm going to leave a way for them to get through so that way they don't you know if they if they get hung up over here for some reason hopefully their AI will send them through this way um, instead so that should be good enough for our cage yeah it doesn't have to be too terribly big especially not for Horde Knight um, you know Horde Knight 7 okay so now next thing here um Got to keep our eye on Hawaii Five O over there. Let's pick these two up. Let's get our hatches and get those in place next. And what we want to do is we want to rotate those so they're upside down. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Yep, that's exactly what I want to do. And I'm going to actually upgrade these to iron hatches anyway. But that gets us started. So 
So we'll have to get a hold of some scrap iron um, to upgrade those and then uh, also to make the iron hatches themselves. Okay, good. Now, next step here is um, I'm going to... Let's get some bars out here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a bar and we're going to upgrade it to iron instead of using the uh, quarter poles. Uh, again, for Horde Knight 7, I think that's going to work fine. And then let's just space these out two blocks each, like so. Okay, that should be good. Um, what I think I'll do too is I'm not sure if I can reach a Zeke Ruski with my sledgehammer from there. So let's actually pick these back up and we'll get Hawaii 5-0's attention and see if we can actually reach him. Uh, but actually, you know what though? Before we do that, we gotta we gotta put some kind of a of a roof on here, or he'll still be able to come through. You know, the downside to this. Well, I guess I can still reach over the top of that to close that if I needed to. Okay, yeah. So that should be all right. Um. All right. So now we're gonna need some more flagstone, and I will get this all upgraded to cobble too, or at least the most critical uh, critical blocks. So I don't know how many more we're going to need. Let's just do, like, say, maybe 30 more for the moment. It's a good thing we harvested all that cobble from that house uh, in the last episode. Um, okay, so... Yeah, let's build... a tunnel here. Ah, shit. Good thing that's not a long ways down, huh? You stay over there, dude. I'm not ready for you yet. I've got a, a different plan for a more long-term horde base. Um, that, you know, I'll reveal to you guys later. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like we need six more. So this is, again, this is just Horde Night 7, maybe Horde 14. We'll see. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to see if I can reach him with my sledgehammer from here. Soften him up a little bit. Okay, so he should path right up to us. Is he still coming? Oh, no, we lost him. Okay, let's try it again. Just gut shot him. Come on, dummy. I'm right here. Come get me. Here he comes. Okay, so can I hit him from here? Not quite. Okay. So, oh shit. <laughs> Come here, fatso. Good thing we softened him up, huh? Um All right, so that that's good to know because that's going to change uh, something that I'm going to do here. We're essentially just going to double up on the bars in here then. Because if I if I can't reach him with melee from there, then there's no point in, you know, not putting an, another bar in there. Uh, so now what we need to do is we need to get these upgraded. And yeah, shit, I'm gonna need to more need more um, iron ingots going. So uh, I think what I'm gonna do at this point, guys, I'm gonna cut the camera and 
It's actually kind of getting close to end the episode anyways, isn't it? Uh, and go mine up some iron. I don't have much time um, to do this, of course. But I also might want to... I also might want to put a few more blocks here. So, let's see. If we do six more... Ah, no, no, no! <laughs> that's not where I want you to go. Okay. Um, yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, yeah. So, I, I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and just wrap up the episode here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend um, a little bit of time the next in-game hour or two at the most. I'm uh, mining up some iron and getting it smelted uh, so we can get, you know, the bars upgraded. And uh, then if I have time, I'll also upgrade uh, some of the flagstone to cobblestone. And then we'll start the next episode uh, at the beginning of Horde Night 7. So that is the plan. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.